Hey, uh, the good thing about hunting today is that Whitney got a deer, but maybe an even better point is that uh, Josh here, Josh Ingram, is his first time to ever deer hunt. <laughs> so, uh, how was it, man? Speak loud enough so the camera can hear you. Good. 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 <laughs> That's a lot of detail. Was it uh, hot? No. Was it cold? Yes. And did you ask your dad anything about the cold? Did you ask if you could go back to the truck? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All hunters have done that. Yes. And a lot of hunters have just gotten down and gone home. <laughs> yep. But you stuck it out. I'm proud of you. you. Did good. So did you see any deer? No, sir. My dad, but dad, my dad did. All right. Tell us what you heard in the woods. We heard a, a buck coming, well, probably a buck, coming through the woods about 25 yards away from us to our right and uh, stopped, grunted a few times pretty loud, moved and, on. And Josh, you'd never heard a deer grunt, right? No, sir. So you asked Dad. Is that a deer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. But uh, then that was the last last one we heard for a while. Uh, and then heard, heard one off to the left, and then that was it. And we got to find out Whitney shot a deer. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, what did you get out of hunting today with your son? Just time with him. It was nice. Yeah. It was a good time just to sit, sit there and see him suffer a little bit and, <laughs> and make it through it. It was nice. Uh, Josh, did you like seeing the sun come out and enjoy feeling the rays on your yes, sir. body? <laughs> All hunters enjoy yes. the sunlight. Yes. Um, thought well, the good. crows were going to attack us for a while. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got to get your first hunt at uh, Priority Hunting Club in Troy, Alabama, and you're welcome here anytime. So thank, thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, well, I was sitting in the tripod stand right down there, and uh, six deer just walked out of nowhere. What? Yeah. Um, only, only one was a doe, and the rest were just bucks, and two of the spikes just come, and they just bed down right under the stand. I'm not kidding. It was like... Crazy. Really? So then, um, so then the doe just runs across, and then this huge ten point. I mean, just crazy. Just walks out <laughs> across, and so um, I shoot at him, and I miss him. Um, and then he runs down over into like this valley, and then the six point just comes right up, and he's just he lays down right on the edge of the road. He's just laying down right there, and then uh, he starts eating something off the leaves, and then uh. He just, uh, it was, it was like rubbing a toy in front of a baby's face. It was just driving me crazy. So then I just had to shoot it. And I, I didn't see its body. I only saw its horns and its head. So I just kind of judged where it was. And so Really? Guess where it was at? It killed him right once I hit him. He, he was just laying there right where he was. It was nice. It was really cool. Yeah, I was really excited. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we're, we're happy for you. Thank you. That's awesome. All right, so I want to show you how this layout of the property is where we've been trying to take advantage of a funnel so that we can catch deer coming and going. And we've had good success with it here in the last couple of weeks. Thank the Lord. There's a uh, finger of woods coming out. They clear cut on the right and the left of those woods about three years ago. So deer travel in those woods, and then they travel from the point over to the other woods and from the point to the other woods. So the stand that we've shot the two uh, bucks out of recently is right in the middle of this clear cut. It's a tripod. So we're catching deer coming from the pine thicket to the right, which would be to the east, going to the bottom in the middle. So we've got a north wind, and they're walking right in front of us trying to go from the pine thicket to the oak bottom. Here he is. <laughs> well, Josh... Would you and Whitney do the honors of grabbing each, grab each side of the you grab the good your good arm. Pepto Bismol is not going to help that stomach mm -mm. pain. Mm -mm. It wasn't the best shot, but it killed him immediately, so I was happy about that. And this was not the deer you shot at first. Mm -mm. And this deer was 
that deer ran off and then five minutes later you just happened to see this deer laying down. Yes. You see. didn't see this deer walk up? No. He was just already laying yeah, down? Yeah, I could just hear him just crashing around here just using his horns just kind of mess with the branches and he was eating the little berries off the trees and stuff and uh, I happened to just see horns just going like just waving everywhere and so I judged where the body was by its head. Right. So... So what lesson did you learn today? I mean, congratulations on the deer. I'm proud yeah. of you. Tell me, tell me some lessons that you learned because a hunter always needs to learn lessons. Mm -hmm. um, my lesson was that don't take a shot that you know that you're not going to um, be very good at because whenever I shot at that 10 point, he was facing back and he just turned just a little bit. So I probably just... So he was basically facing away from you. Yes. Okay. So if you're going to take a shot, make sure it's a good shot. <laughs> All right. All right, so... Uh, Congratulations on your deer. Thank you. Hey, uh, what's really good about being in a hunting club is that, you know, you can be selective about what you shoot. And so here at Priority Hunting Club, we have a rule that the deer need to be eight point, the horns need to be outside the ears, and it needs to be about three and a half years or older. And if you don't shoot a deer that meets those requirements, then uh, you get a high five, and you get a bill for $300 for shooting a deer that's undersized. So Whitney... Yes. Uh, could you write out a check to Priority Hunting Club for uh, three hundred dollars? Um, I don't have three hundred. I have like a few quarters, maybe, but uh, that'll start us out. But uh, no, I don't have three hundred dollars to spare. <laughs> well, in this situation, uh, I think the president will make an exception for you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Good job. Josh, on the last year we got from here, I said part of the workout for football is going to be dragging deer in the hills of Troy, Alabama. So you're the first football player to do it. Congratulations. All right. Well, somehow let's get the head to stay on here. And then we can just kind of get the rest of the body. All right. Hold it there. All right. Oh, yeah. There go. Uh, Josh, don't hurt your arm. Oh my goodness. I shot this deer twice. So a 10 was a 6? I guess so. No. What? So we're going to have to do some deer forensics? Yeah, I guess so. Hey Josh, how you doing over there? You can set him down, sorry. <laughs> hey, here's a good sign. Drag marks in the dirt. Yep. Alright, you're going to try to pull, pull his head up. Or up that way as you can. So I would pull his front shoulders up on there more and let his head hang off the end. <laughs> 